Hi, it's Tom from Augment Automotive here. Uh, just a quick video, show you how to connect um, to a Bluetooth uh, breakout box on an electronic ECU. So I quite often use the Bluetooth module in the breakout boxes, it's just a lot easier for me, there's no cables and uh, it usually works pretty reliably. <coughs> but there's some additional steps to, to connecting beyond uh, what there are for USB, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, this is on Windows 10. Uh, similar on Windows 7. Uh, so the first thing we're going to have to do um, is just power up the ECU and breakout box so um, the ECU's Bluetooth device is ready to pair. So once that's done, um, you can just look in the bottom start menu here. Um, you may have this Bluetooth devices uh, icon. You may not. Sometimes it doesn't appear. Um, if you don't have laptop with Bluetooth, you might have an external module fitted to the device. Sometimes it doesn't appear. Um, so what you can just do is on Windows 10, you can just hit the Windows key and get the start menu and just type Bluetooth settings. Um, and that will come up as best match and just hit that. And you'll get this manage Bluetooth devices. Equally, you can, if you've got that Bluetooth icon, you can just right click on that and click add a Bluetooth device and it will bring you to the same place. So, <coughs> um, in this case, um, the ECU is powered up and we can see that we've got an Ultronic device here ready to pair. So, um, that's the ideal situation. If that, isn't, um, if that isn't appearing, then either it's not powered up um, or potentially um, another device has already grabbed it. Maybe if you've got an Android app, you want to make sure that's disconnected. Um, or there's perhaps a fault with the unit. So if you persistently can't you know, see that the electronic device is there and ready to pair, then um, you might need to send that back to us. Uh, but in, the, in most circumstances, you're going to get this um, ready to pair sign. So we're just going to hit the pair button here. Now it'll ask you for a passcode, and there's a standard passcode for the electronic, which is 1804. So we're just going to hit next. And you'll see a little uh, loading bar, and then it says connected. So that's it on Windows 10. There's no messy driver installations or anything like that. Um, I always power cycle the ECU after I've done this because um, sometimes um, you can get issues after pairing. So I just turn the ignition on and off on the ECU. Um, in this case, we've only got one um, one device. So finding the COM port is quite simple. Um, there'll probably be two COM ports created. So it's just a case of trying both till you get one that works. So we're just going to load up 3D Tuner here. Um, and we are going to connect to the ECU via this new COM port. Uh, so actually, um, this has created it on the COM port that I've used previously, so it's automatically connected. But what you're going to need to do is, is just hit communications up here, select COM port, and then there'll be a COM3 or COM4. So just try them both. So if you hit COM3 and you get a red X, that right, doesn't work, so that's not the right COM port. So try COM4, and okay, that one's worked. So hit load ECU, and you'll be connected. Uh, if you've got a bunch of COM ports, you can actually hit the P key. Um, this is kind of new functionality, but what that'll do is it will just um, uh, go through all the COM ports in order. And um, at the moment, you'll find that when it's doing that, it'll um, lock up the menu. So it just sit there, and it will just go through the COM ports, and you can't do anything else. Um, but that will just check them all for you. So that's the P key on your keyboard. And that concludes really just connecting via Bluetooth. Um, uh, I'm just going to quit out. Uh, if you connect to um, Bluetooth and you've got more devices and you want to find out what the COM port uh, is, the COM port number, I think we can possibly do that by uh, just hitting the more Bluetooth options here and hitting COM ports. And you can actually see then uh, what the port is assigned to. So if you've got, for example, uh, other serial ports connected, you might have a whole bunch of these COM ports. If you just go in, you'll want to see um, COM4, Outgoing, and then Ultronic Dev B, that seems to be what comes up. Um, and then you know it's COM4, so that might come in useful. Okay, cheers.